and welcome to Culture here on I-24 News. I'm Oded Grover, thank you for joining me. Today we, we devote our show to film director Isaac Florentin. Born in Israel, Isaac has been uh, living and working in the United States, directing many television shows and films, usually of the action-packed martial arts genre. Martial artist himself, Isaac uh, brings his own expertise to his sets. I'm very happy to have him here in the studio. Thank you for coming in, Isaac. Thank you, Oded. So, uh, let's start at the beginning. How did you get into martial arts, into stunts? Uh, it's two separate things. Let's start with martial arts. Right. As a kid, I, uh, around 1967, I saw a James Bond movie, You Only Live Twice. Mm -hmm. And there were scenes there that had, uh, involved uh, uh, Japanese martial arts. And I was fascinated, so much fascinated that I went and saw it in a matinee again and again and again and again, only for the martial arts scenes. A few years later, we had uh, in Tel Aviv uh, the, Tokyo, the Tokyo Circus visiting, mm -hmm. they had a karate show, and again, it fascinated me. I wanted to learn it. And then uh, around 45 years ago, they opened a dojo close to my uh, where I used to live. Yeah. They taught karate there and judo. and. I had to struggle with my parents to fight, <laughs> so they will tell me yes, and I started learning karate, okay. judo and karate actually. So, but the initial uh, uh, connection was made in the movie the in the movie theater, and uh, the I, I yes. guess uh, your love of uh, film grew alongside your love of martial arts. Yes, that's a total separate thing. I always loved movies. My mother loved movies. My brother loved movies. My father didn't care so much for movies. <laughs> and as a kid, I actually grew up on the Spaghetti Western, which is until now my biggest love. Okay. Uh, directors like Sergio Leone that I adore, and for me he's the master. But also there was Sergio Sulema and Sergio Corbucci. I was very influenced by the Spaghetti Westerns, and even until now, in every Every movie that I do, there's a little bit of a touch, a little bit of a homage to spaghetti westerns. I love them. Um, that's that's great. So, how did you uh, end up going in the direction of films? Because you you're saying you got into martial arts, you started studying, you started teaching at some point as well. Yes. When did you decide you wanted to direct? Uh, first, I think that the first movie that really for me hit. Uh, was like a decision maker or something that I uh, uh, saw that you can really combine the genre was uh, Bruce Lee, Fist of Fury. Mm. I mean, previous to that, you had uh, uh, Billy Jack that did some martial arts, the mechanic, the original mechanic with Charles Bronson that did a great martial arts scene with uh, Taco Bota. But for me, when I saw uh, Fist of Fury and I saw Bruce Lee, and I saw the movie was around martial arts. A real I, martial arts movie, right. With somebody that has so yeah. much charisma, like Bruce Lee, yeah. I was like flabbergasted. For me, it was like a... So what do you do? You pack up and leave to no, Hollywood? I was then like a kid. <laughs> <laughs> that was, I said, wow, you can do really martial arts movies. But then I was totally, was a kid then. Yeah. I was totally into training in karate and basically wanted then, I was, 1972, I was a kid, I wanted to be a black belt, then wanted to have my own dojo. I never thought of uh, really becoming a filmmaker, though after my military service, I uh, studied, uh, went to study cinema. Uh, and then there was a seed, I said to myself, okay, but I really love that genre. And because of that genre, I really wanted to study the cinema. Okay. Uh, I think another... So who, how did you get your first break? I mean, there are a lot of people who want to direct, a lot of people that are into film. I think from day one at the university, for me, the track was I want to do action and action martial arts movies. This is from day number one. Uh, but when you're a student, you don't think of doing it professionally. Mm -hmm. uh, after a few years at the university, my uh, graduate movie uh, was a student movie. Uh, called Farewell Terminator, that was a futuristic action movie, again with a lot of homage to the Spaghetti Western, and it was an action martial arts movie. Uh, I put it into, I mean, it won an award in a festival, mm -hmm. and uh, I think by then I made, there was some kind of a decision. I was then married, and I told my wife, listen, I think I want to do movies, and... Uh, 
She was totally against it because <laughs> she came to Israel, made Aliyah to Israel. Didn't uh, for her it was a strange world. Yeah. Uh, but uh, but apparently you were right uh, with that decision. You know what? Let's take a break. Uh, watch a, a little clip from from one of your films from uh, Undisputed Two, and uh, come back and talk some more. back in the toughest prison in the world. This is hell. And now you're in the most lethal competition. Welcome to the first ever tournament at National Prison Fighters. I want to fight again. Against the best in the world. It's suicide. You just saw your lights go out. It's amazing action thank you uh, um so uh, okay you go to hollywood you who, who gives you your first break whoever always gives the first break to new filmmakers Menach, the legendary menachem, menachem Golan. Golan. Yeah. he gave the break to jean claude van damme and many others yeah, yeah. menachem was a force of nature yeah. i uh, met Menachem through Shimon Dotan, that was my professor at the university. Menachem loved the show that I did in Israel, knew that I had uh, karate schools in Israel, knew that I was a martial artist. And uh, he looked at my stuff and he told me, tell me, Florentine, will it be a 90-minute movie? <laughs> I said, yes. <laughs> and uh, he gave me the green light and I shot a movie it was a 16-day shoot, very hard. Wow. The DP was a guy that studied with me in high school. And in the university, David Namir, Dudi Namir, mm -hmm. we shot it in 16 days. It sounds like there's a, 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 an Israeli gang in Hollywood, definitely back then, but also nowadays. I mean, when I look at your filmography, you work with, with an Israeli editor. Uh, uh, um, Irit Raz. Raz, and yes. you work with Boaz Davidson quite Many often. Many times, yes. It's, uh, is that the case? Is it easier when you have someone that has a, you know, a common language, common background with? I think so, because I think that for us, Israeli, once an Israeli meets an Israeli, and mm -hmm. basically, where are you from? Where did you study? What did you do in the army? Basically, they know almost everything about you. And uh, once you start to work together, they know you, they trust you, especially when you deliver. Forward. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. I want to talk about the craft itself a little bit, because a, a good action scene is something that's very tricky uh, uh, to make, and, and you've uh, shot quite a few of them. So what, what makes a good action scene to you? Uh, first of all, it has to be coherent. When I mean coherent, when I mean coherent, I mean you have to understand what's going on. Mm -hmm. This guy is on the right. This guy is on the left. This is our geography. This is exactly what's going on. I don't like movies wherein it's a cut, 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 chop, chop, chop. You don't see. You don't understand what's going on. Which uh, is kind of the way this is going in 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 big blockbusters. Yes, because many times the studios they don't know how to do it, and they have uh, uh, they put too many cameras, and they don't understand that the right way of doing action really is one camera mm. and this goes back to the tradition of the musicals when you see fred astaire or gene kelly dancing they are shot from top to bottom no cuts and the idea for me when i do an action scene is yeah. to replicate it as less cuts as possible yeah which is more tricky because you a have to trickier, yeah. you have to make to show everything has to happen in real time at the right pace and, and you have the to hit, have yeah the heat should read like it's sitting because first of all safety first you don't want nobody to get hurt right. so the hits are not for real yeah. i mean it's pseudo hits yeah of course but it has to look right and if you don't yes. cut it's that much harder to achieve you also need to have talent that's that's uh, 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 much more professional that are maybe martial artists yes and and it's a special skill because you can be in a very good martial artist but there is a special skill needed which I call it, it on camera screen fighting yeah. screen fighting I am doing traditional karate for 45 years but I cannot be on camera I know real karate and etc yeah but for screen fighting you have to know how to angle your head to the camera real martial arts is Minimum motion, maximum effect. Screen fighting is maximum motion, zero effect. 
the pace has to look right, has to feel right, which means you need somebody that has that skill, yeah. which means they have to have some stunt background. Yeah, yeah. And now, you worked with many big names, you know, Dolph Lundgren, just uh, uh, throwing one in there, and, and more recently with uh, Scott Adkins. You've made uh, a few films with him. Nine uh, movies with him. Nine, nine. wow. Yeah. What, a, what is it about him that, that's such a, a great fit? Scott has the whole package. First, he's a very good actor. He's a very good actor. Second, he moves fantastic. He understands screen fighting. He used to be, he started as a stunt guy or a stuntman with, uh, in Jackie Chan film, mm. which means he's got the stunt craft, but he's also a very good actor. He understands cinema because a good stuntman today is really a total filmmaker. They understand about editing. They understand about directing. Mm -hmm. They understand about pace. Cinematography, yes. for sure. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, uh, it comes through. You've made Undisputed 2 and 3 with him. And now 4. And now 4. And uh, uh, this was, uh, I think, the first time that it wasn't uh, just... Um, it, it's the first films, really, with, with MMA. Yes. Which is mixed martial arts, we yes. should say. Yeah. How good. did that come about? It came about a new image. Uh, did a movie called Undisputed. Yeah. Walter Hill directed it. It's, he's Very a director. Successful. Very successful, and it's a director that I adore, especially Streets on Fire, The Warriors. Mm -hmm. uh, so this was Walter Hill. And uh, when they approached me to do Undisputed 2, the original script was boxing. And I saw Undisputed Same as the first film. Yes. And I saw Undisputed, and I, I remember sitting with Boaz Davidson and telling him, look, Boaz, you can see that whoever did Undisputed was in love with boxing. I'm a martial artist, I can do a boxing movie, but my heart is in martial arts. I'd like to do an MMA film. And they asked him, what the hell is MMA? And I told him, it's mixed, ma mixed martial arts. Mix mixed martial arts just started then. And I explained to him, it's a combination of karate and judo and boxing. And they didn't get it. Little did they know that it's going to explode the way it did. Exactly. Yeah. And the reaction at the end said, you know something? We trust you. Do whatever you want to do with the action. Just keep on the story the way it is. Well, it's, uh, it certainly worked well. The, and the, we're at number four now. I'm sure it's going to uh, keep going. I want to ask you, uh, the working within these genre of films, um, there are certain things that, that you can do, yes. that you have to do even, and there yes. are certain things that you can't do. Yes. It's, it's both, I think, limiting and liberating yes. in, in a way. And I, I'm curious to hear how, it, how is the experience for you? Uh, first, the minute that you're doing a genre movie and it starts, even if you look at old westerns, John mm -hmm. Ford to the spaghetti westerns, it's rewarding because you can cut to the chase and the audience expects something and you have to deliver it, but not only deliver it, you can, the, the opportunity here is to push the envelope because uh -huh. the fans are looking for new stuff and you say, okay, now I'm going to push the envelope a little bit because they're waiting for a new stuff and here's the opportunity to give them and to feed them the new stuff. All right, so I want to give our viewers uh, something to taste as well. So let's watch another clip from uh, Ninja Shadow of a Tear, uh, one of your uh, uh, films and uh, come back for a little bit more. Okay. <laughs> This known that Goro taught his men how to kill the barbed wire. He's somewhere inside the jungles outside Rangoon. I'm going after him. If you're going to Burma, it's suicide. It's justice. Goro's territory, isn't it? Hit me. All right, so, you know, I gotta ask you, because you've been working consistently for many, many years in Hollywood, and that's something that's very rare. Uh, uh, what's, what's the secret? I have a great wife. A great wife, all right, yes. oh, okay. Uh, if I don't work consistently, I'll blame it on my wife as well. Uh, good, I, no, I, I'm serious. happy with that I mean, answer. It's like, uh, from day one, it's like uh, she let me do whatever I want. She's always in great support behind me. Mm -hmm. And it's been like this from the, for the last 31 years. And uh, it really helps because it really liberates you. And you can go and concentrate on whatever you have to do. Yeah. 
All right, we're almost out of time. Uh, what's uh, coming up next? I mean, we mentioned Undisputed 4. Uh, there's also a close uh, close range. Close range. Up, uh, there are next. two movies that I finished in the last uh, six months. One mm -hmm. is a contemporary Western called Close Range. Uh, I shot it uh, in LA and uh, again with Scott Atkins. It's like... Uh, That's uh, supposed to come out... Pretty soon. Pretty soon? That's great. So uh, there's something to look uh, forward to. That's one thing. Yeah. And I just finished shooting Undisputed 4. And uh, next is the editing stage of Undisputed 4. So maybe next year we'll get a, a chance to see that. Isaac, we're out of time, but it's been uh, super interesting. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you, Did. I appreciate this. Thank you at home for watching as well. We'll uh, be here again tomorrow with another show. So please join us again.